Okay, so I had a diabolical idea I wanted to share. So you know they put fluoride in the water you drink every day, right? Yeah, they've named it like one of the top 10 greatest public health achievements ever. Uh, the whole idea started when most of the children from the Pikes Peak region had what they called the Colorado brown stain on their teeth. And then researchers looked into it and found out that the rock formations in the region contained minerals that were feeding very high amounts of fluoride into the water supply. And then they noticed that these 3,000 kids were essentially at this point overdosed on fluoride, right? Uh, they don't have a lot of cavities compared to other kids. Then they did more research, of course, and they decided to add a safe amount of fluoride to the water supplies all over the U.S. I did a bunch of research yesterday, and there are obviously studies against it saying that it makes you drop a few IQ points. I didn't love the format of those studies, and my ultimate conclusion was that, yeah, it's working well. Uh, what really makes me okay with it is that some water supplies already have fluoride in them naturally, and it's not like, you know, we're injecting new chemicals we've made in the lab into the water supply. We're just making it nationally more consistent. But whatever, this is not what this video is about. My double idea is that if you're a dentist or in that line of business, you should move to the states that have very low amounts of fluoride in their water. I'm going to share those state names with you right now. The link between cavities, especially in children, and fluoride is just abundantly clear. So if you move to a state with low amounts of fluoride now and make a name for yourself, you would theoretically make more money compared to a high fluoride state. And I did that for you. Here is a table with fluoridation statistics by state. And I'm just going to grab this link up here open up Excel and click on data and get data from web right over here. And it will ask me for the link. I can just paste it here and it will connect to the web page, right? There are multiple tables on the web page. I'm just interested in the fluoridation statistics by uh, state. And I'm going to load it into my Excel table here. As you can see, it's loading right now. I don't need the population or the other numbers. I'm just interested in the percentage. Let me blow that up. Let me increase the size here so you guys can see it as well. Yeah, and here it is. And I'm going to rank it based on the lowest uh, fluoridation percentage to the highest in terms of population. And there it is. You can see I convert it to percentages as well. Go to home, and then there's a percentage button here. Uh, increase the decimals. So 8.8% yeah, for Hawaii. As you can see, you know, the lowest state in terms of fluoridation percentage of the population that are drinking fluoridated water is Hawaii, and then it's New Jersey, Oregon, Montana. And if you go all the way down, you can see that District of Columbia in Washington, D.C., basically, is at 100%. So all the people in uh, Columbia and District of Columbia are drinking fluoridated water. I can see Virginia is at 9,000%, and I think that's just a data error in the table here. If I look up Virginia, yeah, Virginia is at 96.3, so that's why. They should have put a percentage here, and this is going to, I guess, miss a percentage, so that's fine. So that's interesting. Yeah, so as you can see, Hawaii was the one uh, that had the highest. I just thought this was a fun idea. You know, do your own research before you actually move. Like you also have to look into the amount of doctors in these locations and maybe tooth decay history as well. And yeah, and everybody else, like and follow for non-useless content.